These right here are my new Mizuno irons. They are a rare one in 500 set, and I'm super excited to show you them today. I'm gonna play nine holes with them and see what I can shoot. The thing is, if you guys know, my six iron through my four iron are the thicker ones. Today, this is my six iron. It is a blade, an absolute butter knife blade. I'm gonna see if I'm able to hit them. I usually try and stay away from super bladey clubs, but I'm gonna see if I like them. You never know, they might stay in the bag. So today we're out here at Westridge in Texas. See what I can shoot. I'm super excited to get into this, let's go. First hole of the day is a par five. We're coming out here, like I said, nine holes stroke play. I wanna see if I can beat my record. I think my lowest on the channel is a 33, which is three under. I'm super excited to hit these irons. Um, I don't know what to expect. They're the same irons that I have now currently um, pitching wedge through seven iron, but once we get to the six, it all changes. So this could get interesting, guys. Let's see what we can shoot today. Might be in that bunker. I don't know, it is a par five, so I can lay up. I might have to hit that iron for the first time out of a bunker. I wanna say though, thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently. Um, I say this a lot, but it really is. It's truly unreal. And I'm, I'm trying my hardest every video to make it better and better and better. We're gonna have some cool collabs coming. We got a lot of good stuff planned coming out in the future, so stay tuned for it. If you guys do enjoy this video and you like these irons, be sure to join the train, hit that subscribe button. All right, now the one thing I wanna talk about with these irons that is different than my other irons, my previous ones, is they are a little bit flatter. I think they're, they might be standard lie. I used to have my clubs two degrees upright. My other set, this is actually flat. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I played golf in the UK um, for the Good Good Major, and that entire week I was playing a standard lie, standard set of Mizuno irons, and it is the best I ever struck them. My divots were the widest, they were the thinnest. It was, it was just, I figured something out, and it's that I need flatter clubs. My clubs got a little bit too upright, so these are flatter. Hopefully, these feel just like those clubs. Look at this thing. This is the five iron now. This is gonna be pretty blady. I gotta hit this thing pretty pure. I gotta clip it off this sand. See if we can lay up. It's just a par five. I'm trying to get it back in play. I didn't catch that too solid. And you can feel it in your hands right away when you don't hit a blade like this solid. And it's like, it's not a fun feeling. I caught that a pretty, pretty thin, so but we're in play and we're probably gonna have a wedge into this par five. I got 130 yards here, I got the nine iron. Usually I'd hit a pitching wedge, but we're, we're dead into the breeze here. And I'm trying to shoot my lowest round today. I really am, so here we go. Sit down, pulled it just a little bit. That's all right, up and down, make a par here. I think we can handle that. That is a par on the first hole, even after one. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag halfway through this video. I'll kind of go over every club that I'm playing currently in my bag. I got some updates, not really. I have one club I wanna share with you guys, so stay tuned for that. All right guys, second hole of the day here, par four. I think it's only 370. Let's hit a good drive here, attack this pin. About as good as I can hit a drive. Cannot hit it much better than that. Yeah, this club I have not actually shown yet. I showed you guys my new irons, but there's a club in my bag currently that I really have not talked about with anybody yet. All right, guys, 119 yards to the pin. I got a 50 degree. Should just be a nice one. These wedges I haven't hit yet, but they're, they're the same wedges I used to have. We just needed some new grooves on them. Be good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is close. We got that for the birdie. Let's get to one under, come on. Left to right, up the hill. We're gonna leave the pin in. 
Give it a good run. Bro. Okay, I hit that hard, but boy, did that ever hit the center of the cup. You know, those are the times where it's like, did the pin hurt it or did it help it? Because that could have jumped over the hole because it had so much speed, but also it's hard to say if it hurts or helps. All right, guys. Well, we're even par after the first two. I thought I, when I hit that wedge shot, it was super close, but we had some work there. Let's see if we can shoot four under today's the goal. It's a lot to ask. You gotta, you gotta just kind of let those rounds happen. You can't force them. So we we'll go out there and hit the ball and chase it around. Here we go. Third hole of the day. We got the eight iron. This thing's looking beautiful. It's like, I just want to stare at it. I love that blue color. It kind of feels cool, but 150 yards to the pin. I'm gonna hit an eight iron. The wind's kind of coming like, it's almost hurting us a little bit. So, let's see if we can stick this. Oh God, God. What a kick. <laughs> Oh my bounce, that was nuts. Man, these things got some good mojo in them, these irons, they bounce correctly. You can't, I mean, you can't teach that. Little chip here, straight down the hill. Let's see if we can make it. No, no, that was so close. I'm doing a little bit like a forward press on my putting and it's starting to roll the ball a lot better. The ball's just like really coming off a lot hotter and it's just rolling perfectly. I used to not do that, so hey, you never know. So we're even par with the new irons through three holes. Haven't had to use them too much. We've used them a couple times, but on this next tee box, we're gonna do a quick little what's in the bag, what I'm currently playing in my golf set. So let's head over there, let's dive into it quick. Here we go, real quick. We're gonna dive into the club that I have not talked about at all with you guys on my personal channel, and that is this guy, my two iron. Now, I've hit this a lot. I, I've had this now for almost two months. Haven't talked about it, I just put it in the bag and wanted to see if I liked it. And this two iron, I absolutely love. I hit it 260, 270 sometimes off the tee. I like to hit it like low stingers, low rollers with it, and it seems to always stay in play. Um, it's got a hazardous black smoke shaft in here, low spin. It, it's honestly, it's changed my game a little bit because now I have something that I can pull, I can just pull out of my bag and know that when I pull this out, I'm gonna get it in play off the tee. And that, that feels good. If I'm not hitting my driver good that day, I can still hit this 250 and get it out there and play. Rest of my bag real quick, guys. We'll just run over this. We got the T22 wedges. You guys have seen, we've got the new blue Mizuno Pro 221s. I mean, look at this forearm. This thing is thin. Got my name on them, little initials. Got the limited blue driver here. And of course, real quick, the CLK, 19 degree. But let's get right back into this. Here we go, par four here, it's a short one, I think. You know what, let's hit the two iron, let's do it. Hit the club that I've been hyping up. That was it. I am obsessed with this club. This is the Mizuno, it's a fly high it's called. I'm not telling you guys to go buy it, but it feels nice, it's pretty easy to hit too. 56 yards, that drive went pretty far. Probably went like 260, so got a little 60 degree here. No, no. Dang it, you do so good Grant. You do everything so well. And then you just hit a wedge shot 25 feet short. Right to left, it's really slow. Up the hill, into the grain. We gotta judge this one perfect. Come left. That's gotta go left. That's gotta go left. Okay. Another par guys, we're on the par train today. We're playing some steady golf. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Having some fun out here. Here we go, fifth hole of the day. We got the nine iron here, into the wind. I think it's like 135. It's gonna be a good nine iron. I gotta hit this thing full. See if we can get it all the way back there. Okay. 
I think we're gonna be putting. I'm, I'm hitting them a little bit left, which is funny because they should, if anything, be going to the right. That's something to do with the golf swing there. Up the hill, left to right. Let's make a putt today, come on. Bruh. Even par, another par. These pars are getting annoying, but onto a par five now. Super reachable. This one is where we close the door and we birdie. Here we go. 500, 520 yards. That's pretty short for a par five. We are fighting daylight today. The sun is going down quick. That is perfect. Just right in the bunker. Holy oh, try. I said it, it happened. Now all we gotta do is hit an iron on the green, make an eagle putt and we're two under. This is where it starts to get interesting guys. We got the six iron here. This is where I've made the transition to a little bit of a bladier look. I'm gonna see if I wanna stick with it. I still have my old six through four iron. I might put that back in the bag, but we're gonna give it a couple tests. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna base it off of one single round, but 175, it's kind of, I could hit a seven iron, but I'm gonna hit the six. Be good. Sit down. That's long. I think it was the seven. We got that putt for the eagle. Let's see if we can make it. Right to left, little snapper for the eagle. Let's give it a chance. I pulled it so bad. Good speed. I got that for the birdie. Woo. Snuck it in there. That takes us to one under now, onto a par three. It's like 160 yards. Come on. Once again, we got the new six iron here. It's 190. It's a little downwind. It's gonna be a full six iron. Let's see how far this thing goes. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it goes pretty far. It just disappeared. I think it's long and a little left. All right, guys, we had a decent shot up here. We got 35 feet. Down the hill, left to right. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> wow, I almost just missed a two-footer, but hey. So you gotta take your time on those. A lot of people in their in their groups, they say, you know, pick that up, scratch that, that that's good. And they're a good two and a half feet. And man, I remember in tournaments, people used to miss putts from two feet and even a foot all the time. No putt should ever be good, honestly. Eighth hole of the day here. It's a par four, it's 480. It's long. Gonna have to rip a driver here, but really quick. I haven't talked about it at all. I'm, I'm cur currently working on a golf shoe. You guys see the shoes I'm wearing right now. They are called Goat Lane Golfers. Um, we have something special coming very shortly. So stay tuned if you guys want to get a new pair of golf shoes. No. It's in the bunker. I think it just slid into that bunker. God. All right, 190 yards. We got the six iron again. We are really getting use out of this thing. And it's honestly good because I have to decide once again, do I want to go with this really blady 221 or do I want to go back to my 223, a little bit thicker, more forgiving? And so far I'm liking it. I've hit it really solid, but we got, we're out of the sand here, 190 yards to the pin, par four. All I gotta say is, I do not have much room for forgiveness when I'm hitting out of the sand like this and with a blady club like this, and it's working out really good so far. I did not think I was short. So I'm short by, I don't know, I got about a 40 footer here for birdie, but from when I hit that shot back there, it looked like it was so close. Maybe it doesn't go as far. Didn't break as much as I thought. Now I got some work. I got a little slippery slider down the hill. Oh my. Well, 
Lucky comeback there. That could have been a four putt. I mean, technically it wouldn't have been a four putt because my first putt was on the fringe, but I would have counted in my head as a four putt. We are now, after that bogey, we drop back to even par through eight holes. One more hole to go in this video. Thank you guys, you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. Ninth hole of the day here. 580 yards, par five. Another long one, we're downwind. If I hit this drive good, it should go like 320, 330. Oh, it's as far as I can hit it. Right down the middle. I was after it. All right, well guys, the hole's 580 yards. I have 230 to the pin. If my math is correct, it's at about 350. Now, we were downwind. Fairways are pretty hard, so I only had to carry that probably 290, rolled out another 60 yards, but 230 to the pin. You know what this calls for? Is the four iron blade. Oh no, I towed it. Oh wow. Is it way short? It literally just rolled up onto the fringe. Really? Yeah, it got a good kick. Man, I guess these are more forgiving than I thought. I can't really see where I hit. Oh, I hit it like right here. Hit like off the toe here. It's not good on my end, but that, that still went pretty far. Maybe they're a little more forgiving. I'm surprised. I still am really shocked how far that four iron went. If they're hitting it that bad, but we got a chip here. If we make it, we make eagle. All right, we got some work for the birdie. Let's see if we can make it. That wraps it up for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy taking a look at the new irons with me. That was my first time playing with them. First couple times hitting them. And I gotta say, they feel great. They feel, they're very similar to my other set. Um, I didn't really change too much up, but the look of them, I love the aesthetic part of them and they're just, they really do, I don't know, they're just, they're just different looking and I'm gonna keep them in the bag for a while. So let me know if you like them. I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on the new irons, but thank you once again. Until next time, peace out.